guys and dolls, my fishy friends, how are we all doing? Okay, um, so we're going to show you the update, uh, the weekly update, the Monday a Monday update um, of how we're doing with the uh, guppies um, and the end of the guppies, etc. So, uh, without further ado, let me show you um, the end of the guppies. So, there's the end of the guppies um, as the females. Um, I haven't mated them. Um, and as I said to you, when I bought them, they are pregnant. So, they had a load of babies as we know when we moved them. There's a baby there, a fry, which is about um, a week old. Uh, we've got one that's younger there. I don't know, but let's see if we can find it. It's a bit of a job to see him. It's coming to the front. There's a mother. There you go, this one there. Um, so that's another size. And then in here, this one here I believe is going to have um, young because it's very quiet, it's panting and it's close to the bottom um, so yeah that, that's going to be having some there's a little fry down there on the right of that little basket pot um, as I said that's the bigger one so this one's about a week old um, and in here I don't think we're going to be able to see it very well as I said you can see she's panting I'd love to get some photos of her having babies but uh, I don't think that's going to happen um, but we've got some really little ones in here uh, I said they are hiding um, they're really small ones in there somewhere but yeah so we've got about oh there's a I think that's the one we just seen yeah at the there look there's one there there's one actually smaller than that there's a couple smaller than that in this tank um, don't know if we're going to be able to see this uh, where they gone well you can't really see that one but at the filter there's one that's on the filter near the top in the middle going to the left you just got to can see it um, there's a smaller one you've got a job to see it which is down the bottom on the right hand side of the so you really can't see it um, they're very very small very small um, you can just about make it out there it is look you can just see it now on the right hand side of the filter at the bottom um, so yeah we've got quite a few endless now um, there's one on top of the leaf in the centre look coming down so we've got quite a few endless um, as I said to you before uh, I haven't mated these uh, these were bought put in here um, for quarantine and the black spots got bigger so I've just let them carry on um, and have babies uh, so I mean if you wanted guppies and you wanted babies all you need to do is go to your store talk to them um, find a female with a big black uh, spot on the back um, and the spot um, and as you can see that's got a black one there spot on the back one in the front look or at the bottom now it's got a, a blacker spot um, so that's the babies um, all growing up um, the one at the bottom has got one but as I said you can't um, actually see it so anyway that's the um, end of the tank uh, looking all good so we'll move over so this is the um, male uh, tank um, of the ones we know are males um, there's a molly uh, that I've been showing you with a uh, brown head there on the right um, she's a, uh, actually a male there's the ender, that ender is coming out really beautiful now um, darts around a lot um, as enders do um, she's got some beautiful colours uh, definitely nice there's the molly, there's the ender, and um, we're going to have a job to see the ender today by the looks but she's got some beautiful colours on her, on him um, so he's going to be uh, really good to breed with there's a couple of males in there look um, I want to show you this ender but it's really difficult um, it's always the same when you try to look at something so I'm going to bring it in a bit closer there we go Ooh. As I said, he's shooting around a lot, but he's got some beautiful colours on him. He's going quite crazy today for some reason. Um, but he's got some good colours coming on him, so we'll have a better look at that another time. Um, he's definitely darting around a lot. So 
so yeah so that's that tank and these were the babies that we uh, bred these are the actual um, guppies that we bred from the three um, mothers that I took out the main community tank um, and as you can see look there's one coming towards us there he turns right he's got orange on the back so we've got them starting to colour up a bit now uh, there's a couple with like um, uh, yellowy colour towers I saw uh, you've got a job to see the colours really but yeah these are all doing well as you can see so they're getting really big now too early to sex them yet um, I have tried uh, but it is difficult at the moment see that one there right there in the middle look he's got a bit of red on him so I've got several like that with uh, the ready colour on them um, but yeah, we're all doing well. I don't know if I can get a close up of that one. And as you can see, look, the orange on it. So hopefully we're going to get some good colours out of here. And then we've got to decide which ones we're going to be breeding with. Um, oh, it's got a bit blurry. Let's go out a little bit. Let's go out, 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 out. So yeah, it's all doing well at the moment. Um, they all seem healthy. Uh, really surprised how well we're doing so that's the uh, one from the three mothers as I said then you had the end of the one which was the endless we just bought in uh, to breed with but as I said they're pregnant so I'm letting them do what, their own thing um, for now uh, they reckon three lots of uh, babies so three lots of sperm they keep to have babies um, and there's a little baby there so yeah, they're all doing well, and as I said, this is the ones that we saved at the community tank with child males, um, as I said. So we have moved them around, there's that lovely endler. Little colours down the side. Um, so that's those. And let's just have a quick look in the community tank. As you can see, everything's still doing well. Um, Looking really good. Now you're in there. Uh, Molly's done some barbs, all doing well. Just in front of the cake, there is the um, male bristle nose. Uh, quite active. You know, not a lot going on with him and a couple of girls that we've got in there. There's one of the girls on top of this cave. Um, the female bristle nose. Um, there's a one on the tower on the right hand side um, is a albino so yeah doing well the, these two were two of the mothers um, of the guppies I showed you uh, as I said I put them back in there they probably were still pregnant anyway because I had one lot out of them um, there's my oh there we go there's your pleco up there, look. Quite a length. Doing quite well. Actually, that is the male blue. Oh! It's not an albino. It's the blue. Can't remember the name of it. It's really gone out of my head. So it's a bristle nose, uh, blue eyed, lemon blue eyed, that's what it was, it comes to you and eventually with a bit of help from your friends. Um, this up there, look, it's an ender with a V towel, which I will hopefully be breeding with. Now, as I say, breeding with, they might have bred anyway, uh, but, I mean, she's a nice girl, big. Uh, that's a big bristle nose. Uh, yeah, I say breeding with them, but the thing is, is um, they might have bred in here, but I haven't actually bred with them as to breed properly with them. So this yellow towel here is one of the mothers that we put in. Um, that white male is really interested in her. Uh, that's a beautiful boy there with a nice coloured towel. 
trouble is you get too much reflection on here. Um, cut the mollies. But as I said, the tank is doing well. It's always looking good. But this is just a put them together tank. See the mollies at the back. Um, so it's just put them in the tank and let them get on with it basically. Uh, so yeah. Um, I'll say I've got my plates. Um, they're doing quite well now. You know, I had to cut the babies off them, but only in a community tank, so that will be a bit of different breeding later on. I say for now we're doing mainly guppies, then this. So yeah, so thanks for watching, um, please subscribe, uh, like, press the bell for more notifications and more videos, as I said the next one will be out next Monday, um, I say thanks again for watching, any comments, questions please put them below, and we'll see you in a week and see how much bigger these uh, guppies are getting, so thanks for watching, speak to you again soon, bye!